as we have successfully connected our application to the mongodb atlas now it is time to connect the graphql or start the graphql inside our backend part of the application and then start sending queries to the graphql server so you can find the graphql documentation to the graphql.org okay we have the first link graphql so this is the graphql documentation site describe your data ask what you want so we have a project this is a query and we want the tagline inside the query so i only get the tagline so this is you get whatever you ask for no less no more so inside the code we have a list of languages and we are interested in javascript so inside the javascript okay we have the graphql server okay we, hello npm install graphql but we don't need this alone we need the graphql with express this one we have the graphql api which will serve as an express web server this is what we want from our express application on the back end so we have npm install express graphql okay let us copy and run it inside the terminal so where is the terminal cd back end and then copy and paste this and then install so it will install express and express graphql which will which will bind our express application to the graphql server okay so we have cons graphql http graphql sorry http is equals to require express graphql okay now express graphql http now this will work for setting up the graphql server from my application so i have a comment setting graphql so we have app dot use slash graphql so we will use slash graphql local host slash graphql and the graphql http now this will take an object and the object will contain the schema the first key is schema and the value will be whatever the schema we want to provide and we have the graphical true now graphical is a tool just like the postman you use you, you must have used the postman for rest api similarly for the graphql we have the graphql okay so now we have the cons schema we want the schema we want the graphql to use a schema which we will provide so we have cons build schema so we have cons build schema is equals to require graphql and we can use it over here build schema now build schema will take back tick okay so we have a back tick now this is a schema inside schema i have a type sorry it should be lower case type and then the type is query so whatever i'm going to do the type of that will be a query that will be a query according to the graphql and the query body will be a name and that name will be a string so inside the query body i have a name which will be of type string so this will be a schema so inside here i can have schema so we have schema equals to schema so now since we can use es6 so i can remove one of them okay so this schema now refers to the schema we have defined above and then we have graphical true okay this works fine okay so now we have a root value so that any so that a response can be generated over here, like this so that a response can be generated whenever i pass the query or i search for the query so we have root query the root query will be so let us make a root query cons root value is equals to so whenever i have a query with name so this resolver will have a name and then the function which will return something so whenever i search for a name inside the query inside a query then this root value will match the name and then return john wick parabellum or something like this and then pass this root value over here root value same es6 way i can remove this extra one so what we have done we have make a graphql schema over here in which we have type a query we have a query inside the query we have a name a name may will be a type string so this is a query and what whenever i hit a query with name this name refers to the upper one 
then it will return john big parabellum to me okay so let us check if it works or not app dot listen we already have that app dot listen working fine so now let us check in our console npm run dev okay we have oops the error build schema is not a function okay build schema so inside the app dot js okay this is a default build schema is not a default import it must be a name import so we have to wrap it inside the braces okay graphql http also it is not a name schema it is it is a name schema not a default one npm run dev all works fine yes server on port 4000 mongodb come on yes it works so now if i go to localhost colon 4000 i guess and then slash graphql the link over here we have app dot use now so slash graphql so we have localhost slash 4000 graphql so we have this graphical tool which i which i have done true so this is a graphical tool so at the right you can see we have documentation explorer so we have the query inside we have the name so this query is what i have defined here so we have the query with body as name so we have inside the schema we have query with name query and then we have the name as a string so inside the playground i'm going to fire a query i'm typing query and then the body of the query so i have used name of the query so i'm going to type name let us type name and then the name refers to this one and the name should be string so it should be string so we have john wick parabellum as a string returned to us okay so now this works fine our graphql query is working fine over the graphql okay so this is returned john wick parabellum whenever i search for the query so if i change it to hello and restart the server just to see if it it is coming from here or not and refresh and then you see hello so all the data here is coming all the response data from the graphql is coming from our application okay this is working all fine so now we are done with graphql with connected with graphql to our application and this query thing over here this is optional you can omit it the graphql tool understand that you are firing a query okay so now we have set up the graphql express server of our application and then in the this resolver and this root value and the schema is just a temporary setup we will not use this one over here in the following videos we will be using or we will be making our own schemas and own resolvers and then the mongodb models so that we can integrate all of them and make a backend successful so i'll meet you there thank you